Over to Cohoes now, where police have arrested a woman in connection with a massive fire that destroyed a couple of apartment buildings. Now, this is the same woman who police told us was a person of interest last week. News at ABC's Lindsay Nielsen live at the scene on Saratoga Street, or what's left of the scene, with the latest. Lindsay. John, this is all that's left here where these two apartment buildings once stood. Just charred remains after they were torn down here last week. Now, I spoke with one tenant who used to live here. He tells me he's hoping to get some money back for the items he lost and says he also wants justice for his animals that were killed in this fire. But so far, arson is the only charge that Joyce Valagorski faces. Once you gave me a call and let me know, I was like, I hung up the phone and I was like, woohoo, all right, you know. Ernest Risty relieved that today Cohoes police arrested 29-year-old Joyce Valagorski, charging her with arson. Police say she made omissions to detectives involving her part in the fire that destroyed two apartment buildings on Saratoga Street last week. Police confirm Risty lost three kittens and two adult cats in the blaze. It's saddening to me to look at it, you know. Uh, to me, it's, it's a, it's a gravesite now for my cats. Just days prior, Edward Glass of Cohoes was charged with arson for allegedly setting fire to the Remsen Street Market. And on Wednesday, police say a young boy lit a trash can on fire on White Street. He was also charged with arson. Both fires last week, Chief Heslin says, were started on furniture left outside of the properties. It's a scary thing. People should really keep uh, the front sides, back of their property clear of these things. Chief Heslin says that the Troy Police Department was notified of Valagorsky's arrest. No word yet, though, on if they believe she could be connected to other unsolved arsons in Troy. She was sent to Albany County Jail without bail and is expected to be back in court here next week. Live in Cohoes, Lindsay Nielsen, News 10 ABC.